you can do is just hold W, and this B site might just be their prey. Two players sitting up right along Hookah, but Relic's on that front line with the, ooh, with the Spectre. Can't get the first one, and there's only one person left here on B. Oh, I don't know if Vice is going to be able to hold this line. He's got so many angles to watch. And yeah, now that he's been spotted out, SSG, they're waiting. They'll play this patiently. But what a delay that Vice has caused already. That Shock Dart forcing a distance or creating a distance between those players. And look at the time that it's allotted for Mitch to make that rotation. Yes, he's kind of stuck and it's getting a little bit flustered. But at 3v3, that delay that Vice has caused has made this winnable. Spike cannot go down. It's way too contested on this B bomb site. Tens has made his rotation a little bit late. But as the Spike goes down, a 3v3 and two players now make it two for one oh side my. just tens left alive here i don't know what's happened here but he's in a 1v3 make it just a two he can definitely win this if he finds this final frag 1v1 Ooh. up above he goes dashing away six pulls up in the mag all of this Ooh. not for much two to one eight six would have been a big deciding factor for the rest of the half but because we had that rocky start it's not going to be as easy as said done mitch is able to pick up a double shinobi I traded know exactly out. can't right. even pick off off of mitch it's only two for them a two for two and now make it a three for two as ssg once more have dominated this a bomb like they get the spike down and this six round still seems to be a big, big like round for ssg it. is it'll break the lead five to one oh. this was the first but right will be right around and it has not gone the way of cloud nine whatsoever it's not out of question just yet with two players still remaining and they're trying to find a way back into this site again i can't emphasize how much of a rarity it is to actually see five rounds gone from a game and we haven't seen a full right round for both teams. but this is actually working out vice on the front lines still trying to face him against it is he now in 1v2 the spray down doesn't catch relics he goes all the way down to 10 hp and the 2v3 retake for c9 just works they're playing with a blanket over their heads, and Tens is getting ready to tear it right off of them. Great clear goes in, but Tens goes Two frags to his name, and I think SSG realized the B site is not for the taking. Huh. Now in comes the take, Boosie on the front line. C9, they're getting into some tricky places, and Tens on top of Tin 30 seconds left. He rules the round, he rules the map. And again, four kills for him, relics at the very end. With I'm able to hold it down as well with a vandal they picked up off Aroka's of body. Now maybe a little bit more paranoia miss. That is so unfortunate for SSG. That was the explosion. That's what they needed. Roka needed to get that frag, but Inksy does it. Even without the assistance of his teammates, straight through the cypher cage, trades things back to a 4v4. Mitch still tagged a little bit low. And that seems to be an indicator for SSG to go back the other way. They wanted that information in Hookah, and unfortunately, Jump's they didn't get over. it. They got to trade You're back, dead. but that's not much to play off of. With a 4v4, they'll try and play off a boost. He'll throw it back. Maybe he can clear out this site. He's already got one. He's been fantastic so far in clearing out sites like the a bomb site. He'll send, he sent all the way back to bathrooms. And still, Shinobi, he's really the only line of defense. Even then, he's barely standing. Spike planted. Shinobi's just vibing. Look at that spot for the recon bolt. Oh man, it's Shinobi! Just peeks out from the cage! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Revealing area. But for C9, it's all too fortunate. Again, two players disjointed. It's gonna be Vice coming in from the main area in Mitch. She was on the plane. Unfortunately, he's gonna go down to a 1v2. Still Vice now in a 1v3. And this one should just be about done and dusted. These two players do have a good chokehold onto this spike. The vice is still hunting. What HP? What HP? He knows for a fact this last person. Uh, uh, unreal. Vice, man. He's picking all the angs. He clears all of it. And now the diffuse clutch is going to happen within point Never four. Is he hears tens. Tens thinks he's safe. He has his knife out. And there you go. Relics doesn't spot out Seth. That's going to be the frag. But in comes the teleport. You still have relics over towards. Oh, over towards he heaven. And he's still trying to get himself a couple Ten of seconds frags. left. But Inski with a good shutdown of the showstopper. One to four. Three and oh, Spike planted. The work from earlier turns into gold. Fork. No word. Who this run? round, Hunter's Fury called out. I'll try to delay them. Look nice kill from Vice. He has information as to the player jumping out, but that's not enough. It's not enough to draw attention away. They're not exactly focused on the entire site, and this is a shotgun of a round. Cloud9, it will be a fifth on the board, almost definitely, unless Boosier can create One some energy. Space and energy, but not much will come from it. Tens finally has an op. Probably going to be the most important part.
Oh, yeah, they're taking a fight, but they haven't taken any lives. Seth is kind of the big X right here. The team as well. Brucio has decided to ditch his teammates, and unfortunately, it's weak in this defense. Inksky has to go huge in the back lines. Mine one straight through the box on a Shinobi. Big delay cause, and it's just down to two tens. Is trying to find something. Smokes down and everything. Not much to play off of just yet. And with players wrapping around, Sap. I've been all, all the Spike way. Blue Shield even coming in with the TP. So they are grouped up towards Duka. They have this entire control. And it's a sandwich here for Cloud9. Players all around them. There's so many angles to focus on. And this is a great opportunity for them to work together. It has to be well coordinated, though. They've got to be prepared for this. In comes the paranoia. It doesn't connect on them much. It doesn't give them much. Oh, one 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 How is this turn around? One 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 one. And no one is killing. No one is caliber. He should be walking away with this one. And he will. Jumping on over. Right click with a classic. And that's what C9 needed. I'll hit. All control so far. No one on is trying to fight that ink ski. Nearly, nearly gets a frag, but whiffs a couple of share of shots. And the movement made here by Seth. Blast back out of the way. Relics. Ensuring that it clears every corner. Just down to one. You know, one V5. Broke up. We're very flawless. lucky to go out with anything. Tens makes it a flawless round for Cloud9. Still needs to keep things clean. Again, most of these players with the Spectres and Bulldogs, they're gonna, they're gonna upgrade in the next round anyway, so it's not that big of an issue. But Tens making his way right into U-Haul. Snags himself a big kill, but now it's gonna be a double hold over towards U-Haul. Vice on the front line is gonna go down, but Seth is right behind him with a trade back on Vice. Still Tens around the corner, low on HP. Seth can't spray through the smoke, and instead it's gonna be Shinobi with, again, a good frag, and only one person remaining. Roka looking for some economic damage, and that's the only thing he can really hope for. This man Man's a nutter, but it's a tall task. And he goes down to the spray down for relics. That's massive. Nothing saved, but here it is. We'll send up Vice's Al drone to clear it out. Tens has been very good so far. He's positions out and Inkski. That's a massive kill. Tens has got the verticality though. And Tens no time shuts him down. As well as the Hunter Sphere to be called upon and trying to clear off this site. And Tens has created such a big gap between him and the rest of his team. He's looking for energy. And he's created so much space to allow the spike to go down in this 4v3. Again, they have all the control of this site, but again, Tens. It's almost expected that he's going to be in this area. Boost, you know, good stuff off the, off the run it back. But that's a little bit of a one way. Tens, you got to keep watching that egg and it will. Going to be able to get a 2 k didn't count because it's a run it back. Now it's a three on one. One more player remaining in the back of sight. It's a little bit against Seth. Over towards U-Haul. Very unfortunate. Inski waiting him for the approach. Back towards bathroom. And oh my, Kaplan. Huge shot onto Relics. Now it's a four on four retake. A couple of these players for SSG. A little bit crippled. They still have the Empress. Not exactly online, but still waiting up for SSG if they end up opting for it. Spike still ticking down little by little. Kaplan might be able to get some information. In comes the frags for C9. Still Kaplan holding things down. Mitch just needs to get this one frag. Spike is going to get ticked. But Roka overwhelmed. Blind again, Tens. He's been so good at opening up the sights, but alone. Can he pull this round back? Straight into the face of Inkski. It's been shut down already. And Inkski and Sep. No way. They've shut down the ace on play. And now it's just down to two. Not looking good here for Cloud. This is a big round for them to break the economy, but it won't happen. They've tied it up, and Inkski finds a hat. trick. 10 to 10. SSG right back on track. Station for Space Station actually comes into fruition. This could be huge, Sully. Get out of my way! What they've got I mean, attention drawn away just by 10s himself, but his body is like the line, and they've been put to the test. Cloud 9. Not an optimal execution, the paranoia, you mentioned using those rotations with the overwhelming numbers and the great setup that SSG. So now in comes the ultis, in comes the utils. Bustio trying to get a run it back over towards Ruka, but it's not going to work. With a hold from Roka, it's so good and long. Bustio is the holding W, long. and he himself gets a second. They've got kick credits to spend. Cloud9 is all about keeping man's. Men alive in Shinobi. He's picked up the first already. Fusio looking for a trade, but Ooh. shut down as well. That's what Cloud9 needed. They've opened up the B bombs, and it's just one man. It split this entire defensive line. Mm. There is a flank going in, though. Inkski has been able to find one, but can I there be more from him? He's found a second. Relics, you've got to shut him down here, and he does. Two versus two, Kaplan. but look at what that's done. Kaplan as well pushed up towards long. This is such They're a play on the ground, and it's down to just two to try and clutch this out for Cloud9 and SSG both. Both players are still posted up on B, but the A lurk is still very much prevalent. 
chilling on out. Now is Mitch. Alongside Vice, the spike will be able to go down. No old seas in the hands of the defenders either. Spike planted. Much fear to prevent that. Mitch, such a pivotal angle. He would have to be the meat grinder. Knowing that first insane contact points for this entire round. And not only that, but they don't even know which players are going to be coming from mid, which players coming from short, or anything of the sorts. Cage on back, that's gonna cover up. Kaplan can't make his way through. Still two players over towards you all. Seth gets the first pick. Vice has to clutch again. Does get the one right down. Can get himself one more. In go, oh my, what was that angle? What was that angle back on the darts? Seth is going to be able to defuse with ease. And Space Station, they have taken by. They have been over towards mid, have been over towards B main. But now at this point, the SMG, they can't exactly do much, right? With all the pistols, I'm just trying to hype it up. SMGs, Spike four versus planted. four, spike down, and Kaplan's looking to scout some information with the L drone. A spot out at least one. Full 4v4 retake. And again, C9, they're going to stay posted on these choke points. They have the SMGs, and they can Hi, overwhelm yeah. using that. Now watch out for the take coming out from A main too. That's probably going to be the most pivotal part. It's actually going to be the Sova trying to get a little bit of information, but it doesn't happen. Vice! Oh, he pulls out a huge one. Ten, the same thing. Oh, now it's Seth in a 1v4. He takes out two. Mitch still on site pivoting. Lone. And now Seth, he's really just sitting oh, waiting, hoping that his teammates can get here. So much utility, so much clutter going on, but Seth still holding on. Picks up a massive double kill. Bomb He's delayed. Out. He stopped this attack with that nano swarm. And right now, SSG are looking for round number two, but Tens is still alive. And alongside a relic, they are the dead one. Roka. Yet another opportunity. At a clutch, and in he goes. Spike planted. Both of these two players sitting right below him. Again, has very restricted util. Best thing that he can do is probably pick up a frag and use that orb. Try to get a little bit tricky. It's gonna be a double hold in hell. And the spike is right in front of them. He has no eye to actually work with too. What a what? What? A, what? A, I'm trying to think of the decision making again. Ends round because at this point SSG they still stick to pistols. And this B site has to be on lockdown by Kaplan somehow with his frenzy, exactly and this is not gonna happen. Three on four retake. I can go down in a timely fashion. It will for Cloud9. But it's still a, a very rocky round to say the very least. Busio can get healed up. Blaze wall as well. Tens get a little bit overzealous. Down to 32. You don't want to stick around the flames just for too long. Rook has been spotted out, but his heroics with the sheriff still continue to amaze us. Can he pull it off again? But he's got two players alongside him to work with, and two players hopefully will be enough to get it done with him. Inski getting sprayed down. Very low HP. Two players here now. One Tens knocked down even further, but Shinobi shuts it down. Nail in the coffin. DT will be lucky to walk away, I think, with a second frag here. Might be able to shut down. Tens jumping. Classic and Shinobi. Third and final frag of the round. It's six to one for Cloud9. And they are doing five players alive as well. Make it just four. Great shot from Busio. Opens things up. But Vice, he's sitting in B main, trying to hold on to that Hunter Spear. If he needs to use it, he will onto that spike, but he's hoping his team you can lock run. it down otherwise. No but way. maybe they'll get locked down. And this is another use for that Hunter Spear. He can shut down the lockdown before it even gets started. But Vice, he can shut down before he even gets a shot now. Now just down to one. How is this flip on its head? The narrative is gone, and it's just down to one. Spike oh no! Up, and it's gonna be diffused. There's nothing yeah. Cloud9 can do the Hunter Spiri. They were hoping but they can lock down these Cloud9 players. They can look for a couple of exits, but Relix is making an exit for himself. Opens up a hole in this defense. A knife from Seth as well. That's seven to three, ladies and gents. And how the hell is that just seven? I'll never know. As Roka pulls off a 4K. But in goes Roka again. Gonna be able to get an early frag, but Tens is there for the 30 frag. seconds left. In comes Boostio, but Relics with a showstopper. Tags him right through the smoke. So one more player in the back of sights. It's Inski just waiting for an approach with a sheriff. Could be able to get a huge frag onto Relics. And indeed he does. Waiting for another player to run. Inski might have just saved the round for SSG. And of course he's looking 10 for seconds a left. One more player on sight. And third Goes up against him. They go out early. Then... That would just be monumental.
Rich, trying to planted. bring some momentum back to their side, but Roka's not having any of it whatsoever. One and player remaining. He's like, nah, I'm gonna try and frag out here. Roka picks out up three. Charges. Lucio will close it out with two. Six to eight here. The side, but look how much coverage they actually have over towards Cat. It's gonna be a double crossfire looking right right into halls if i'm not mistaken the gate is also closed so they would just have to again try to take that step by step take that in like a flow charty type move here but even then it might look like a waterfall out of heaven and indeed it will be mitch he does freak out a little bit but they're all refreshed with back and forth for ssg he goes in one trying to find two and he finds two one v three one 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 gets himself two uh, he's trying to defuse Seth wins the round for space but now in we go. Two players on site. Tens is here. Same thing with Mitch. Look at the one way off the cage. But good eye from Roka to cover up. Tens waiting for Roka to appear. And we'll be able to get the frag. He still has the angle. Molly's going to clear him out. And just like that, SSG have a control of sight. Get out of my way. They've got it for now. They're trying to take a sort of angles. Busio looking maybe for a peek early on into heaven. Oh, oh, really that that they can roll. And let them know where he is. One and and player is his teammate's body. It shows that he stays alive. Opens up around it, opens up. Good about creating space. Can he do it again though? He's been so good in this position. Up close, Roka finds the first. His share throw has been Scout, instrumental, Scout. and that's the space they were looking for. Shinobi, door will be shut in his face. He's ready for the spin. Sees the barrel, but can't get the frag. But he won't end the round for now, and begins. wins the rest of his team. A recent commences. Roka's used the Emperor. Spike planted. And now it's just down to two. Cloud9 locked out of the round. It's not impossible, but it is dire given the situation. One enemy remains. And the Empress is spraying on through, but more importantly, Bustio is the king. He's sitting on top, getting himself three frags. Tens does take one back, but really the economic damage point of things has almost gone away unless these players just start running into this man's crosshair. Still hunting. And again. <laughs> A little diddle. Really waiting, trying to figure out what the cue is, but does it? It's not going to be enough for the lane. Can maybe get one? Video barely standing. Mitch, oh, oh, I know exactly. Oh, what a turn of events! Nice. Oh, what advice to the lane cause? That's what they need. The Thirty seconds left. Well, two versus four, and cloud nine. One player remaining. What's so scary? Because right now SSG. They've got a main huh. control, but the issue is, is that that's all they've got. Really, nothing else has been worked. They don't know what's waiting in B main. There could be anybody sitting around any corner, and a TP goes in. Oh, that's Dave. big, though. They're trying to work this one out. Inkski is all the way in the back. He's saying there's nobody on site. You just have to clear everything else. 30 seconds so left. Else to clear, but Threw around, that grenade. This is his opening to try and find an opening frag. The nade won't do too much, I don't think. It's backed into a mm -hmm. corner, and now the spike going Stop down. Busio finds another opening. He was explosive in the spike. last, but they couldn't close it out there. Relics trades it back to a 4v4 now. Busio is still going to be in B main, just waiting up for the actual approach. Almost every single one player is going to be on sight, and it's just a combo of frags. Ten's the last one remaining, jumping his way through. Busio gets the last kill, and it's just poetic.